Hi everybody. Today we are here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and we're going to check out a really cool falls called Spruce Flats. Well, there's a falls here. It's called Spruce Flats Fa Falls. Say that like five times, right? Anyways, uh, not many people know about this falls. It's in the Tremont Institute. So when you get, find your way to the Tremont Institute, park in the parking lot there, and then there's pretty much signs that will show you how to get there. But it's a mile walk there and a mile walk back. So it's pretty easy. So let's go do this, right? Let's do it. Lumber Ridge Trail and Falls, or Spruce Flats Falls. So let's go check this out. Ridge Trail falls this way. So this falls here is so unknown, they don't even really put the name of the falls. And most people don't know about this. Okay, here comes another sign here. Fork in the road. Buckeye T falls that way. Okay. Okay, so the trail isn't very wide. But so far, it's been pretty good. Um... It's uh, got some elevation in it, but I'm going to be on the lookout for rattlesnakes. Um, okay, so now it kind of goes up here. And seeing this trail is not hiked often, I'm really on the lookout for like rattlesnakes, bear, wild boar, which I've only seen one ever, so. Okay, folks, so we met a couple that was coming down the trail, and they said that there is definitely a few rattlesnakes that they saw on their way coming down, mostly in the sunlight areas. So, yes, that's a big concern. Um, we're going to take it slow. Yeah. Okay. Let's go do this. We're going to do it. We're going to do it for the vlog, right? <laughs> We came to another sign here. It says the falls is this way. Okay, I'm going to go first. There's a little sign there that says the falls. Okay. I'm going first in case we come across any rattlesnakes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so seeing that there's been a positive... Um, positive confirm that there is rattlesnakes on this trail. I got the the stick here, the uh, walking stick, out in front of me. And um, anyways, what what I do with this is, is I kind of tap a little bit on the other side of the logs. If there's a rattlesnake there he will start to rattle and then we take off the other way <laughs> all right all right falls trail this way so pretty much this trail is just um switch backing back and forth up the side of this mountain okay so we ran into another couple and they said they haven't seen any rattlesnakes. That's good. But they did see like a six foot long black snake. Now everybody knows I don't like snakes. 
but I could deal with the black snake. I don't like the rattlesnakes though. <laughs> so, wow, looks like there's a vista up here. Beautiful vista. Okay, so what do you think about this vista? It's pretty. It's really beautiful. Yeah, check this out. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. I've never hiked this trail before. And so far it's been very impressive. I didn't even know about these falls until just recently. Okay, so... So I'm stomping my feet, hoping if a rattlesnake will feel my vibrations and start rattling. And if he rattles, at least I'll know where he's at. But this trail is absolutely beautiful. This trail here reminds me of sections of the AT. <laughs> Those are Acadias. This is a really pretty trail. comes another water crossing here. This one here has got a, a lot more water in it. So what do you think about this trail so far? Very rocky, very steep. Yeah, it's pretty steep. I would say what, moderate so far? Yeah. It's a moderate trail. Today, I think it's like close to 90. And uh, humidity is real high, I think. It's up in like the 60 or 70%. So, definitely bring a lot of water with you. Even though it's only a, a mile. It's a tough mile. Well, we're traveling on this sunny side of the mountain and there's just perfect areas for timber rattlesnakes to be hanging out. So we're, we're taking our sweet time trying to do this. Um, there's been a few people out down the trail that we've ran into that said they haven't seen them. So that's really good. Um, just those first couples that come through are the ones that saw them. So I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully not. Saw 
log with like steps cut out of it. It's steep here. What do you think? I like the log. You like that log, I huh? I like the step though. Get a load of that. Spruce Falls. Well, this is Spruce Flats Falls, and we're the only ones here, and it's like July the 8th, right during tourist season. This is truly a hidden gem here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So what'd you think about this fall, Dawn? This one's beautiful. Yes, this is a very serene, very real type atmosphere. You could sit up here for hours and maybe only see a dozen or so people. Um, the falls is actually really beautiful. Um, I'm impressed. This might be one of my favorite falls here in the National Park. Well, everybody, that was Spruce Flats Waterfall. Absolutely a beautiful. This is definitely the hidden gem of waterfalls here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Um, we only passed maybe, what, four or five people up, and then we passed, what, three families behind us. And um, so it was, uh, there was nobody up there. The whole time we were at the falls, there was nobody there. Um, and the waterfall was very impressive. I wouldn't say it was a Class A waterfall, but it was a Class B could be almost an A. Um, I'm shocked that the National Park um, doesn't um, publicize this waterfall more because it's that impressive. It's a hidden gem. It's definitely a hidden gem. So, first of all, I want to say thank you all for uh, subscribing and um, all your comments. Uh, Dawn and I love it, and we love your support that you give this channel. And um, so with that being said, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe so you don't miss any more of these vlogs. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.